The purpose of this video is to show you how to edit your paper to make it better writing, to have more, um, more clear writing, more succinct writing, um, more direct. So I'm going to take you through some examples. Uh, this is an actual student paper. It's a very good student paper, but we're going to make it better. So the first sentence here, um, they say adult military uh, veterans are more likely than the general population to develop alcohol use disorder. Um, they create an acronym and then they cite it appropriately. Um, all of that's good. The one question I would have is, well, first of all, children are not veterans, so we don't need to specify adults. And then, you know, are we talking about U.S. veterans, Russian veterans? Who are we talking about here? So you want to be specific. So I know that this person does mean um, the U.S. veterans, right? So we can say United States military um, veterans, and then we'll say U.S., you know, for the acronym. I can delete that comment. Um, United States military veterans are more likely than the general population to develop alcohol use disorder. Great. Um, this is due to multiple factors, blah, 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 blah. So we want to use direct active sentences. You may think words like this are clear, but often it's not. So it's better, in, better to be specific and say veterans um, have multiple risk factors or so... such as an increased exposure to trauma, PTSD, adverse childhood experiences, lifetime drug use, and more. So avoid sort of vague generalizations, like what is more? What is that? So let's just delete that and just end at, um, and I think what they're trying to say is an increase in lifetime drug use, right? That they have more uh, drug use, and, and this is sort of a, a risk factor. Veterans have multiple risk factors, such as increased exposure to trauma, PTSD, ACE, and increased lifetime drug use. Um, then they go on to say prevalence rates, which is fine to talk about prevalence. You should. That, that's really for the introductory paragraph. That's important. But you don't have to say prevalence rates, right? So in general, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something like, show us, don't tell us. Um, so we want to say something like, uh, well, first of all, we're, it's a difficult spot here because you should never start a sentence with a number. So we can't start it with a number, but what we can do is we could say two out of five, and then we could say 42.4%, um, two out of five veterans abuse alcohol. That's a great sentence, very direct, very clear. Let's delete this first part. Two out of five veterans abuse alcohol. Uh, then the next sentence, consequences of AUD include the development of mental health issues, serious physical health implications, damaged relationship with oneself, and others, aggression and detachment. My question here is detachment from what or from whom? Um, what, do we mean, what do we mean detachment? Do we mean like numbness? Um, so maybe a, sent a word with more clarity. In the meantime, I'm just going to delete it. So if we have clarity, great, but otherwise you want to delete that sort of thing. Um, then we get to the statement of the most effective intervention. So um, I don't think you can say the most effective intervention of all time and on the entire planet, right? So that's definitely an overstatement. We don't want to indicate that. Um, you can say one effective interve intervention. And so when I read a sentence like this, what I do is I'll go to that article. Um, and I'll read the article myself and figure out what they've actually said. And so I've, I've put the sentence here, and it says, moderated mediation analysis, that's like fancy statistics, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it says that the intervention, people that participated in the intervention were more strongly associated with a reduction in drinking and problems, right? Um, so it did reduce drinking, so that's great. These findings suggest that the intervention may be um, useful. That's really what they're saying here. So that's a softer sentence that's more accurate. And so that's really how you want to describe it. You don't want to make an overstatement because that's where you know, you're going to get more scrutiny from me because I'm going to know that that's not possibly true. At no point did they say this was the most effective intervention on the planet, right? So I might say this. 
we might put this at the top, again, because we want to write active sentences. We want to put the nouns at the beginning of the sentence, right? So personalized norm normative feedback interventions are one, or maybe we should say is one, and say intervention is one effective intervention used to reduce alcohol consumption. Now, there, we can say AUD, but we've said AUD so much, so we really want to not repeat ourselves over and over and over again, okay? So, personalized normative feedback intervention is one effective intervention used to reduce alcohol consumption among veterans. It's still kind of wordy. Um, personalized norm normative feedback is one effective intervention used to reduce alcohol consumption among veterans. A little better. Um, this sentence in general is just confusing. I, I think there's a missing word or something. Social workers regularly treat clients with alcohol dependence understanding the risk factors and consequences among veterans will allow. I, I, it just, I'm not sure. So that whole sentence kind of needs reworked there. Um, then we move on to this review presents risk and perfect protective factors associated with the development of AUD, the effect of PTSD on the development of AUD, as well as the most effective intervention to treat veterans. And again, it's not the most effective, so we need to sort of um, revise that a bit. Um, as well as one effective intervention. So that's a good statement because you really want a sentence in the abstract that says, this is basically what this paper is about. Um, and then the last one, um, the last sentence here, they say emphasis is all also placed on future recommendations. I think what they mean is implications. So that is, um, you do have an implication section in the paper and you should really put that in here, right? So the last sentence or so, or, or the second to last sentence, you can say something about what are your implications and then talk a little bit about that. Okay, so this is in general um, how to revise your paper, how to critique other people's paper. Um, you really want to go over your paper with the tutors numerous times. And this is really the work of making your writing better. And so that's, the pur that's one of the purposes of this class, to read and understand research properly and then to be able to write better.